Good morning. Welcome back. Monica and I are going to head off to the beautiful little town of Woodbridge, grab a coffee, and I'm hoping at some point today... Sorry, I'll get back into the light. I'm hoping at some point today to get a call from the garage that they've received the tires from Michelin and they can fit my tires, which is a little bit of a shame. In fact, Monica, if you can pan over here, because these have done over 17,000 miles, Michelin Road Classics, and I did want to see how much more mileage they can get. You can see there's still plenty, plenty of tread left there, but I can't risk doing a 5,000 mile trip with, with tires that may only have three or 4,000 miles left. So we'll get those done. Bonneville, I'm delighted to say, leaving it two and a half months, it runs perfectly. I did an 80 mile ride over to the coast about three days ago, completely spot on. So I don't think I'm going to do anything at all to the Bonneville before the Africa trip, apart from put a rear rack on. I don't think I've actually told you much about the trip. So Monica's mum's back now. We'll grab a coffee. I'll tell you a bit about the trip, pack the pannier up and we'll head off. riding the Royal Enfield Classic 500, not taking my earplugs. So these are the earplugs I have. It's a company called Auratec. It's my second pair of these and it just goes on your key ring. So they're reusable. You just keep them in there, use them as much as you want. Forgot to bring them. Used the Classic 500 for, I think, eight hours in one day with the baffles removed. Horrible, horrible sound. And honestly, I don't think my ears have still recovered from that. So now if it's anything over 20 minutes, always make sure I put those on. I'll do a gear for the day because it's been so long. Start from the bottom. These are, I always forget how to say it, F Furrigan. Mm -hmm. Furrigan Melbourne boots, French company. Very dirty. Yes, yeah, actually that's embarrassing. Maybe, <laughs> we, okay, maybe we should cut that out. Okay, anyway, they're the boots that are not clean. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. should have cleaned those. Tobacco motorwear jeans. Mm -hmm. I love these. California based company. These are actually made in California. Mm -hmm. Beautiful quality jeans. Size up one inch for the waist. So I've gone for 33 inch waist, not my usual 32. And if it's, if you're in the UK, trust me, you want to get the size right. Cause the hassle to ship it back to the US if you get the wrong size is too annoying. So size up one inch for the waist and then for the leg, they just provide one length. So you get it and then you tailor the leg once you receive it. But they're lovely quality jeans. In fact, they're so nice. They're just like a really nice, normal pair of jeans. Pandemoto, Lithuanian company, Sherpa jacket, biker jacket. Again, very nice, comes with elbow pads. You need to get the back padding mm -hmm. extra but it's a lovely jacket. And your belt. I just wish they had a, an inner pocket there, but I love it. Belt from Triumph Motorcycle Lifewear. Mm -hmm. And these, they're, they're always my favorite. I've had them so long. I, I must have mentioned them so many times. Throttle snake. Mm -hmm. I think they're the glove trotter gloves. Just very simple. So classic and exclusive. Rage shiny black helmet. Again. I always wear this one. You can remove all the lining. So I remove all the lining, chuck it in and wash at 40 degrees just with normal clothes and it washes perfectly fine. I must, must have washed it probably 10 times or so. And finally, DMD 75 helmet. Monica's favorite full face helmet. Yeah, that's a very good helmet. Do you know I, what I've realized? I used to get loads of biking gear all the time to test, but now I've shrunk down the amount I've got. I actually don't have a huge amount now. Because we don't have a space. Yeah, yeah, we don't have space, basically. That's the reason. But I've had all my stuff for years now. Everything I'm wearing, I've probably had for three years or so. It's all brilliant. Stuff for life. 
Right, should we get a coffee? Yes, let's go. Feels so good to be back in Woodbridge. Yeah, it's very cold though. Yes, yes, it's freezing. I probably didn't dress perfectly for this. Both Monica and I were on the bike shivering like that. It's, it's not unpleasant, but it's not completely pleasant. on last video about my upcoming trip to Africa. I had an idea in Bali that just before summer gets here I want to do one big trip that I've dreamt of doing for about maybe 10 years or so and that's to be able to ride one of my bikes, whatever bikes I have at the time, to the African continent. But specifically I want to ride my Bonneville to the Sahara Desert. So Monica's asking me yesterday what I'd planned because I should be leaving this time next week. This time next week the Bonneville will be packed up and I'll be heading down south to Africa and she said great okay so where are you getting the ferry from in Spain? Don't know. And where are you going in Morocco? Don't know yet. I've done no planning so far but how hard can it be? You just book Airbnbs or booking.com for accommodation. I just need to book the ferry from Dover to Calais, ride down through France, through Spain and then ride or get the ferry somewhere in southern Spain over to Morocco and then head, well, th this is the rough route I'll be taking, somewhere here in Morocco. I think by the time I get there, sorry, I'm not going to let you get that, mm -hmm. it'll be around about 2,000 miles to one point and then I'll do some exploring around here. I'll take in, I think, the Atlas Mountains in Morocco and then carry on riding south down to, and I can't pronounce it, but I think this is the gateway town to the Sahara Desert. Wow. And apologies for my pronunciation, someone let me know. Warzazate. Warzazate. Wow, that looks incredible. It looks completely stunning. City mm -hmm. in uh, south of Morocco's High Atlas Mountains, known mm -hmm. as the gateway to the Sahara. Mm -hmm. Bonneville feels great, as I mentioned earlier. That's why I'm putting the tyres on, because I think it will be at least 5,000 miles, at least, round trip. But this time, you're not taking your tent. No, I'm furious with Monica's mum, Rasa. We're in, in Bali mm -hmm. and Monica's mum calls up Monica and she's like, rats, rats have eaten Freddie's wingman of the road. I'm, I'm like, what? And because we're, we're living in Monica's flat at the moment and it's a bit tight on space, I had to put my... And that tent is huge. <sighs> Sorry, but there is no Yeah, it's, space it's massive. It's about that big by that. It's my wingman of the road. It wraps up with sleeping bag and tent. It, it would take up literally all of the storage in the flat, so I had to put it into Monica's mum's allotment. And selfishly, 
I actually took up about 20% of Monica's mum's allotment shed, so yeah. incredibly selfish of me. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know what I expected, but over the winter, rats managed to get into the shed and they've destroyed and eaten my wingman of the road. So there'll be no camping with wingman of the road. I think that's for better. Yeah, especially when I get to Morocco, it's probably better that I stay in little motels or I don't know what type of accommodation I'll be there. But yeah, wingman of the road, eaten. No longer, no more. Furious. I had a very stern words with Monica's <laughs> mum. Absolutely furious with her. I just had a call from the mechanic who said he's received a tyre, a Michelin tyre, but one tyre. And I thought, well, what's going on here? Is that, is that normal? And I said, is it possible that two tyres could come on two separate days? And he said, no, if you ordered two tyres, you get two tyres. So then I went back onto the Michelin emails to check and I didn't see the small print. One tire arrives today on the 2nd of May and the second tire arrives on the 15th of May. Five days after I leave for Africa. Hmm. So I'm gonna go back to the Bonneville. I think see, see if I think there'll be enough tread on the rear tire to do 5,000 miles and just get back from Africa and then fit both tires. Hmm, 50-50 about this. One of the ridiculous design faults with this Bonneville is there's no key to take the seat off. You just have screws on the back of it. And I must have lost probably about 10 screws. I bought these for Motown, but the problem is the vibrations from the bike and things mean that they always come off. These were, I mean, it's not Motown's fault. These are about 25 pounds. And I've just lost one on an 80 mile ride yesterday. It's so annoying the amount of these that I lose. Every so often, I just come back and there are none and the seat's completely loose. It's, it's ridiculous. Okay, Monica, while you're there, mm -hmm. tire. I, I can't decide. It's going to be really, really close to know if I should get that changed or not. Get that changed, <sighs> if possible. Yeah. Okay, I may have to ask the mechanic to provide a Michelin one for the back. That's a bit frustrating. Okay, okay, I need to make a decision. I'll probably get it changed. That's the only thing I'm really waiting on. As soon as I've got that done, I may head off a couple of days early. Okay, I've decided. Can't skimp on safety. I'll get the tire done. Hello, it's Freddie with the Bonneville and one tire. Um, I've just checked with Michelin, Dave. The next one's coming on the 15th of May and I'll need the tire for a trip. So could you order a rear one for me, please, and fit both of them? Uh, yeah, just for the rear. If we've got the front one, just the rear one, please. 130 slash 80 B17. Triumph Bonneville, 2010. Brilliant. Do you have any idea roughly how long it may take? Perfect. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Done. Right. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks so much, everyone, for coming along. And we'll see you all in the next one.